Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, my name is Cody GT and in today's video we have some major news to go over. Once again, huge shout out to Zinniet on Twitter for providing this information, I will leave a link to his Twitter page down below, um, make sure you go ahead and check it out. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this news because it is absolutely major. So. The very first thing, there's a lot of things that uh, Zinnia did go ahead and post, but the uh, first thing that I did want to go ahead and mention, and probably what you clicked on the video for, is the official roadmap by MiHoYo. It looks like uh, there is information that version 1.1 is expected to come out on November 11th, uh, the Unreturned Star event, and more. Now, really quickly, do want to preface the video by saying that this can all change, this can all be updated, and the dates can vary. So you have to keep that in mind. Take everything that we talk about with a grain of salt. Now moving on to version 1.2, expected to be on December 23rd, snow region and more. So this part is extremely exciting for a new region to be able to come to the game of Genshin Impact. So that is exciting. And in the comments down below, let me know what you're most excited for to see uh, come to the game. And then we have version 1.3 expected on February 11th, uh, Sea Lantern Festival and more. So as you can see, MiHoYo has planned ahead. They do have a roadmap of you know quotations have a roadmap and so these are things that we can look forward to and these are things that we can expect once again this could all change the dates can be different or they can rearrange the order it all depends on how miHoYo wants to release things this is just what we can take a look at just as a rough idea and what we can you know expect and speculate on on when this will come so extremely exciting i am all for all of that so that's amazing um, the next thing that I did want to go ahead and cover just because I thought it was really good news as well is the new version updates. They do plan to be every six weeks, similar to Honkai. So in Honkai, um, each major update is a maintenance update that happens about every six weeks, roughly, give or take. Um, and that's when major updates happen where we get new characters, we get new events, we get new content and things of that nature. So if it's similar to Honkai, um, then that's that sounds about right and that's you know what mihoya would normally be doing anyways so uh really good information there and then major updates will generally happen on wednesdays so wednesdays is usually when the major updates will drop um the sea lantern festival was questioned on why it wasn't released on october 1st it looks like it just faced some multiple development issues and they mentioned zhao but no comment on his banner so we're not sure when zhao's banner will actually come it, that's yet to be seen so if we do get more information on that i'll definitely go ahead and do another video but we'll have to wait and see on that one um and then the rest of the information here is just basically pertaining to uh, mona and kishing as far as their kits um it seems as if mona and kishing were a little bit buggy on certain you know attacks or certain things about them um and so they are getting some rework it seems it looks like on mona's elemental burst damage is abnormal and actual damage is weak uh devs confirm it is weak they'll be adjusted uh the value to make it stronger as well as her bubbles fixed on october 10th as well um so they're just doing some reworks they're fixing some bugs uh when it comes to mona specifically it seems like hers is the buggiest and then kishings um, they're fixing some things as well, as well as just some other um, bug fixes as far as jump canceling and things like that. So, um, yeah, it's uh, really, really good news um, and good stuff here. So right when I finished the QA, Scuff translation regarding Mona Kaching, they released an English announcement on it. Read the one for a more proper trans. Okay, there we go. Um, it looks like so they're going to go ahead and provide a comp compensation for... Uh, the bugs and it looks like it's gonna be 200 uh, primo gems and you must be ar5 before october 10th to receive that and here's the link to the official mihoyo forum page i'll leave that in the description below as well um but yeah guys exciting exciting news we now have a rough idea of what to look forward to um, as well as some major updates that we can look forward to as well uh, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about everything and let me know what you're most excited for uh, but with that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out. Bye, guys.